Good afternoon, Kristen Wombach with Via K Wombach. Welcome into my office. Got a little bit of clutter, but it's happy clutter and a whole lot of creativity. So today I wanted to show you and share with you how I take something that was in my heart and I saw it and I take it and I give it to somebody who really means a lot to me because it's important that we share those things that are in our heart. Oh, that is my zebra finch here in my office making a racket. So we'll have to excuse him. So today is one of my dearest friends birthdays and I have put together, they have a brand new pergola and I put together this outside little three tier stand so they can have it outside in their pergola. So I put flowers and some chocolate covered blueberries and other little lovelies to make their outdoor space um, better and it's hospitality friendly. So today I am going to share one of my folded greetings with you and my dear friend whose birthday is today. So I wanted to show the process because it's really important to me that you understand as my customer how much I think about how can we bless the people in our lives. How can we share with them um, our heart from a genuine point of view. And since I love old things, I love old things British, I created folded greetings just for you. So I am going to be making today the Honey Bee birthday card. So first you have to purchase the, um, the template and it comes to you. It's downloaded instantly and it is a PDF. By the way, if you don't happen to be crafty and you'd like me to make it for you, please check out Send to a Friend and I would be happy to do it for you. Okay, back to our project. So, you've downloaded the PDF that I sent you, and on your computer device, you get it to your printer. Now today, there we go. Doo -doo. I am using 80 pound cardstock. That is what I use for its white neon paper, and that is what I use for my folded greetings. It has just enough pliability that it makes really nice and crisp creases, but there's enough stiffness in it because this is the card that moves and acts and tells a story. So, we're going to print. I load my paper. Okay, just a hint on printers. So, in your printer drawer, you have these little governors here. If you keep those really snug against your, your paper that you're, that's leading into your printer, it will help your projects be straight. There we go. Now you pull up the download. For me, I'm using an iPad. I created all these on my iPad with my Apple Pencil. Get it to your print screen, and you hit it, print. Yay, and there it goes. So I have five different designs of folded greetings. There we go, out she comes, there she is. And I put her in here. This was the outside, and I am going to print the inside again. For me, it's PDF. I get to my print screen, and I print. Da -da -da. <laughs> Let me show you. So here is the card, not folded. So if you notice, I've got these scoring marks here to help you. And they're just blended with the card, so they're really nice. And that's the inside of the card. I'm going to stop the video for a minute so I can show you folding it. 
Okay, thanks for hanging around here. So now we're going to fold our Honey Bee Happy Birthday card. And we are going to score on the two outside score marks. And so I have a paper cutter here and it's a scoring. It's a Westcott Carbo Titanium and it's a 12 inch paper cutter and the scoring. So make sure you're using the scoring. And I score the outer one and I turn it and I score. Just the outer and then you can see how easily they fold. Okay. I have a little handy dandy tool that I always use. I always use this little, um, it is like an Asian soup spoon. It's ceramic and has a really shiny edge so it really creases my cards really nicely. There we go. And there we are, I hope you stop. See, there's my first fold. So now what I'm going to do is you need to put the action part of the cards. So I'm gonna score both sides here and then do my final folds. For me, the measurement, I drop it into my paper cutter using the scoring. My measurement, for me, it's 17.4. Or if you go from right to left, it's 16.1. So, there we go, we score it real good. You turn it around, same measurement, 17.4, score it. Come back, you flip it over, 17.4, score, turn it around, 17.4 and score. There we go. I'm going to hide my little handy dandy um, paper cutter and I'm going to show you my fold here. So I fold it simultaneously so I can manipulate the card to absolutely meet perfectly together. Where's my handy dandy spoon? There you are. See? Isn't that wonderful? I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn this off and I'll do this. Raise it up so I'm not all hunched over. <laughs> to show you, and then it opens up. And this particular card uses a portions of the lyrics from the movie um, Mary Poppins and a spoonful of sugar. There we go. I'm going to turn this off and I'll get to the next screen. Okay, this is part three. So we have our card made. Now you have to remember, you need to sign the card. I signed it to my dear friend. You sign the card, you fold it. I bet you'd like me to read this to you, okay? So this is the Honey Bee Happy Birthday card. It says, the Honey Bee that fetch the nectar from the flowers to the comb. Never tire of ever buzzing to and fro because they take a little nip from every flower they sip. And hence, and hence they find, they find, can you hear Julie Andrew singing it? A birthday wish inside. Yours truly. There we go. So then, with every one of my cards, I make little wax seals. So we take this lovely little bee, and if you look really close on it, it says bee, that's her name. I drew her, and there you go. And I put bee right there on the card. Then, 
sticker in the envelope. I provide these things for you. The envelope and the stickers. Birthdays are special. People are special. So we go the extra degree to let them know we love them, right? Okay. A little bit of saliva. There we go. And another B sticker. Now, excuse me a minute. I didn't write her name on it. So between you and me, this is for Susan, so don't tell her. <laughs> okay. If you were buying this from me, I would send it to you in this handy dandy cellophane paper that's reusable. But I drop it into the cellophane because it protects the card as you're giving to the recipient. And there you go. So, there we go. So I'm gonna show you one little more little icing on it. This is what I do, because you're watching. So, oh, here's another little trick. You know those lovely little twines that you have? Um, for gifts and everything, I have each one of my colors in. This is a mason jar. This is one of the plastic mason jar lids. My husband takes a nail, heats it up, and puts the nail through. And that keeps my twine clean. It keeps it neat and tidy. There we go. Put that away and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to wrap just like it's a gift mm -hmm. I don't think you can see down here but I'm wrapping it just like it's a gift my card so that I can tie it onto my gift. Yay. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I'm making a little bow. I'm going to show you here in a minute. Kind of hard to go back and forth from the screens back and forth so that's really easy just a little simple piece of twine you put it inside the cellophane envelopes it keeps your card your treasure your words it keeps it safe while you're giving it and then I'm going to tie it to my gift yep that's what I'm gonna do there we go so, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for purchasing a folded greeting. They're lovely. I make them from my heart to you um, because I think it's really important, again, that we value, that we love on, we do that extra special thing for the people that speak into our lives that love us. So you have a great day. Get busy with your creativity. And you know what? This is not hard. This is not hard. I'm not a highly crafty person. The reason why I make things is because I want to show others how I'm feeling about them. So that's what drives me to be a crafty person. So you can do this if you're too busy and can't do it. I'd be happy to do a send it to a friend for you. And what you saw me do here I will go ahead and send it to your friend. You can find it on my website. Thanks a lot. And I appreciate if you'd subscribe and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you would have. You have a great day. I mean, a great day. I thought about this day and I thought about you today. Have a great one. Bye now.